They're right outside. Don't worry. If they manage to get inside here, they won't stand a chance. You know self-defense? I'll make them lunch. Mm -hmm. I admit it, I'm a terrible cook, but that confession stays between you and me. Got it? Come look at this. Could be a door. Help me get it open. <gasps> what is that thing? <laughs> Who cares? Grab it! Lucky shot. That wasn't luck, that was skill. But then, you're a good teacher. That's, uh, nice. I mean of you. Excuse me, John, but I've detected an anomaly in space that will require your attention. Assuming you finished exercising with Captain O'Brannon. Mm, I'll leave you two alone. Same time next week? Sure. Only next time I won't go so easy on you. Said the man who's down four games to one. Okay, Eos. Show me that anomaly. We've intercepted an incomplete distress call. All I got was a single word. Breakdown. Breakdown? Thunderbird 2 is a state-of-the-art rescue vehicle, not a tow truck. The call came from a priority emergency beacon on the glacial ice shelf 800 miles inside the Arctic Circle. Now that makes a difference. Thunderbirds go where other tow trucks can't. Precisely. It'll be a quick one. You'll be there and back before lunch. F.A.B. Okay, guys. Thunderbird 2 is away. Virgil doesn't suspect a thing. Ugh, I was worried I was gonna have to eat this. We've got about two hours before he gets back. <laughs> Virgil totally thinks we forgot his birthday. Now let's get this island ready for a party Tracy style. Yes, ooh, cake. Uh, someone else made this, right? Straight from Paris. And not until Virgil gets back. <laughs> Virgil better hurry. How long is it gonna take to reach Europa? In this baby? Hmm, not nearly as long as it took Buddy and Ellie, but we're still talking deep space. So, what do we do now, boss? Scott gave me an in-flight checklist. Plenty of time for that. I've got a better idea. Binge watching. But what about the checklist? Locals report seeing strange footprints in the snow. Could it be the elusive, abominable snowman? Oh, yeah! Today, I'll risk my life to find out. Woohoo! Could it be the elusive Sasquatch? Yeah! Oh. The Loch Ness Monster? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh. The elusive giant rat of Sumatra? Yeah, yeah! Oh, how many of these do you have? Only 12 seasons! They haven't released the 13th yet. The elusive Chupacabra! Oh. I get that everybody loves the TV-21, but it's just a plane. It's also a symbol of your father's determination. Ever since he was a boy, your father dreamed he'd be the fastest pilot who ever flew. So he and Brains built the TV-21. It was beautiful. A dream come true. Until the hood crashed it. But it didn't crash his dream. Your dad didn't care about being fastest anymore. He only cared about being first. First on the scene when people need help. First to act when someone's in trouble. And instead of one ship to do it all, he'd build five. The TV-21 was the beginning of international rescue. And now, 
the most fundamental fundamental how to address your passenger. This needs a lot of practice, all right? Yes, all right. So, where are we off to today, Tracy? I don't know. London? Jolly good. I imagine I'll be meeting Baron and Baroness Eiffelutin and their cousin, Cecilia von Hochweiss. Hold oh, the door open for me. There's a good lad. Uh, oh. Thank you so much, Tracy. <coughs> Very good, Parker. Beautiful deportment. But if you're going to be playing me, you may as well go the whole dog. <coughs> you know, for authenticity's sake. Yes, Belady. Virgil, as soon as you have Thunderbird 4, take Thunderbird 2 as high as she'll go. We'll shuttle down the guests for a high altitude handoff. FAB is picking up Gordon now. Shaking bacon? Gordon, you smell. Try spending two weeks at the bottom of the ocean in one of these suits. You got it easy in here. At least now it smells like hard work. I'm just saying, there'll be a certain VIP on this flight. Name starts with Lady, ends with Penelope. Now that you mention it, a three minute shower and a clean uniform wouldn't hurt. Computer, disable shower controls. Hey! What happened to the water? Sorry! Must be broken. Guess you'll have to smell like hard work. It's working. The compass is leading us right to... A dead end. On the surface, maybe. I'll bet whatever is causing the EMF is somewhere under here. Oh, without a laser bore or particle excavator, it's going to take a while to dig our way underground. <clears throat> Virgil? Or we could just use the underground. That's using your head. Voila! Thunderbirds are glow. How did you do that? I just changed go to glow and... No, not that. That. I thought the EKG was shutting off all the power. EMF. And it's shutting down all electrical power. The light sticks in my tool belt work on a chemical reaction. <laughs> like the one going on in my stomach. I think I brought one of my cookies. Oh, no, uh, that, that's okay. I'm not, you know, actually hungry. Well, you look at this place. It's like we've gone back in time, you know, to the Dark Ages, <laughs> right? Let's go in strong. Three ships at least. Agreed. Virgil, K.O., get ready to fly. Anything Alan and I can do. Just hold down the fort. We could build one right here out of sofa cushions. <laughs> or not. Aunt Sylvia, how lovely to see you. How are you? How's Uncle Langley and how's little... Yes, yes, all good. So let's talk tea, shall we? Yes, let's. The finest Assam blend sourced directly from India from these amazing organic tea pickers who... Yes, yes, lovely, I'm sure. I suppose we could have a cup before we get down to business. Business, Aunt Sylvia? I thought you were here for tea. Precisely. So tell me, Penelope, what's been keeping you busy these days? Anything exciting? Oh, yes. Travel, social occasions, last week Ascot, next week Wimbledon. Life never stops for a... Lady of leisure. You sure that's all you do, Penelope? Well, well, you know, there's the charity work and more tea, Aunt Sylvia. Hmm. I still can't work out what made Max alter his programming. Oh, well, guess we'll just have to start over tomorrow. Oh, it's her again. How many times do they have to play this thing? The GDF has refused to comment on recent events, but how long can their silence continue? With both the Hood and his former henchmen, the mechanics still at large, serious questions remain. How did such a massive escape go undetected? And what exactly was International Rescue's role in all of this? My in-depth report tomorrow on The Cat Kavanagh Show. No more screen time today. This is our chance to be together as a family. Hey, remember when Mom used to take us all horseback riding? Oh, yeah. Especially when Gordon was facing the wrong way. I think there's a picture here somewhere. Alan, you all right? <sighs> I don't really have much to add to the conversation. 
Hmm, I know what you mean. Oh, yeah, right. You were away at school most of that time, too, weren't you? Don't you worry. There's still plenty of time to make our own memories here. We have an intruder. I'm sure it's nothing. Probably another stray coyote. It's just showing static. I'll need to check it out. I can go, too. Uh, if you'd need a hand, that is. You boys need to prepare for more training. Let K.O. do her job. We'll come along. Nothing like a little excitement to make one feel at home. Fab One to International Rescue. Lady Penelope, is everything okay? It is. I just wanted to thank you again for International Rescue's donation to my charity auction. Some of the wealthiest people in the world will be there to support my wildlife preserve, and I expect this to fetch a good price. Glad to help. Enjoy the party. Did I hear party? Need a date? I can be there in no time. Scott, let me borrow Thunderbird 1. Uh, thank you, Gordon, but I already have a date. John? <laughs> no way! You actually got him to leave Thunderbird 5? I thought your brother could use a little fresh air. Hmm. He wanted it kept quiet. But I'm the obvious choice. John hates social anything. Besides, who's going to do space monitor duty? Now, funny you should mention that. I had to ask. <laughs> Walked into that one. And who do you think's taking him up there? Uh, oh.